A few days after Zale and Callista learned the secret of the Outsider, another significant day arrived. A very special one indeed. It was the day of Zale's knighting ceremony and of his wedding to Callista. The island of Lazulus was once more filled with excitement at the festivities to come. I never wanted all this. Is this what I've been fighting for? Master Zale, the preparations for your knighting ceremony are complete. As a knight, you will not be able to return to town without the Count's permission. Are you prepared? The ceremony will begin shortly. Zale and Callista faced the day ahead, each with their own doubts and fears, yet they understood that they were about to achieve something they had always dreamed of. Take this. You must present this sword to the Count. It represents your oath of fealty as a knight. A knight must value his oath and his master above all else. Do you understand? Yes. Zale, do you swear to remain my loyal knight until the day that you die? Why did I decide to become a knight in the first place? What are you doing? Get on your knees and present that sword to me. My apologies, Count Argonant. I am afraid I cannot bring myself to swear fealty to you. What did you say? You told me that you started this war for the sake of saving lives. But I believe you know better than that. You know what is causing the land to decay. Why you... Did you visit that hidden accursed place? What nonsense were you told there? Your ancestor summoned the outsider to this land to put an end to an ancient war. And that may have been the right choice. But now, it is draining the land's energy, causing suffering and conflict across the world. You must have been aware of this. Yet you chose to use this power to further your own ambition. And what if I did? The power of the Outsider belongs to the House of Argonon, and it is precisely because of this power that I am able to offer you a knighthood. Do you not wish to become a knight, Zale? 
Your knighthood can go to hell. You don't have the right to decide who's worthy of a knighthood. If becoming a knight means serving you, I'd rather stay a mercenary for the rest of my life. I'm not so low that I'd sell my soul for the sake of a pretty title. chest beats the heart of a knight. And the knight's resolve cannot be subdued. If you mean to go after him regardless, then you must strike me down first. Callista, I didn't want to become a knight to create more sadness and suffering. All I ever wanted was the strength to protect the people I care about. How did it take me so long to realize? Callista, just wait a little longer. She'll be in her room. I have to hurry. So, you refused your knighthood? You knew then? I could tell. We've worked together for so many years. I know how your mind works as well as I know myself. Then please, let me do what I have to do. Sorry, but I can't. Dagrin! How hard do you think I've worked to make your dream come true? And just when it's finally about to happen, you want to throw that all away? This isn't just about you. If you walk out of here, all of our futures will be shattered. Are you all right with that? I am sorry, Dagrin. I really appreciate everything you've done, but I... I just can't do this. In that case, I'll have to stop you by force. I'm sorry. Hey, Seren, can't you at least pretend to have some manners? Oh, it makes me sick, what that idiot's doing. Is he really all right with this? All right with what? Did you see Callista's face? Not a trace of a smile on it, and this is her wedding day. He gets the knighthood, he gets the girl, but does he deserve it if he can't even make her happy? Seriously. I know what you're saying, but he made this decision. We've got to support him in that. So let's lighten up, yeah? Huh. Master Zale, Lady Callista is not yet ready. I finally figured it out. Callista, I know what I have to do. Let's put an end to this war and let's live our lives together. In freedom. Please, Callista, come with me. Yes! Get in there! Yes! Wait. Callista, Zale has refused to accept his knighthood. The wedding's off! No. If he has truly refused to serve you, I would choose him a thousand times Callista, over. Callista, do you mean to defy me too? Enough! Come with me. I've had enough of doing as you say. Capture them at once!
Beautiful work, Zell. You've mastered everything I ever taught you. We'll handle things here. So get going. Show those idiots what you're made of. I'm so glad you finally realized it. Thank you so much for all of this, Sam. But what are you going to do next? Destroy the Lazarus Cannon. With its power gone, the Count won't be able to carry on with this war any longer. Right. And then, we get rid of the Outsider itself. It doesn't belong in a peaceful world. The control room is on the upper floor. Good. There's no one around. As long as that cannon exists, the Count will never give up on this terrible war. It's worth this piece of... What the... Amidst the dark clouds that engulfed the horizon, a titanic form drew ever closer. It seemed that the Gurak had successfully harnessed the power of the other half of the Outsider. Their repeated assaults upon Lazulus Castle had been in order to steal certain secrets of Argonan technology. And so, the Gurak constructed a second moving island. A mighty fortress of unimaginable strength. And every one of its countless armaments was aimed squarely at Lazulus Island. 